Hello and welcome everyone. This is Dr. Saurabh and you are watching Slate and Pencil, an initiative of Sanskar Bharti Public School. Today in this video lecture, we will discuss about microorganism, friend or a foe. Topic covered in this video will be from class 8th NCRT science textbook. The whole video is divided into different subtopics. If you want to go to a specific one, check the description below. So the topic covers our introduction to microorganism, their habitat and feeding habits, useful and harmful microorganisms, food preservation, nitrogen fixation and nitrogen cycle. We have seen several types of plants and animals. Beside them, there are other living organisms around us which we cannot see and that are microorganisms. So moving on to the first topic, introduction to microorganisms. First, we will answer a question. So what are microorganisms? Microorganisms are such living organisms which we cannot see by naked eyes. We need to use microscope in order to view them. So what is a microscope? Microscope is an optical device which magnifies a tiny object so that human eye can see it. Microorganism can be of two types, single-celled or multicellular. Bacteria, protozoa and some alga like clay mydomonas are unicellular and the most of the fungi and alga are multicellular. Microorganisms can survive under all environmental conditions from ice cold climate to hot spring to desert to marshy lands. Microorganisms are present everywhere. They are in the soil, stagnant water, pond water. They even grow in the bread kept for a long time. Do you know there are thousands and thousands of microorganisms on your palm every time but you cannot see because they are so small they cannot be seen by the naked eyes. Let's discuss about useful microorganisms. Microorganisms are being used for different purposes since ages like domestic purpose making in making curd, bread and pickle, for commercial purpose in making cake, wine and yeast is also used in making alcohol, in the pharmaceutical sector for making vaccine and antibiotic and in the farming sector for increasing the production, preparation of manure and also increasing the soil fertility. Now we will discuss microorganism used for domestic purpose and that is making curd. Curd contains several microorganisms when it is added to the milk, it multiplies and converts the milk into the curd overnight. Making alcohol. Alcohol is made using microorganisms since ages. Yeast convert the sugar from grains like rice, wheat and barley into alcohol through the process called fermentation. Louis Pasteur was the first scientist to discover fermentation in 1857. Moving on, pharmaceutical industry also uses microorganisms to manufacture antibiotics and vaccine. So what is antibiotic? Antibiotics are such medicine which kills and stops the growth of disease causing microorganism that is pathogen. Most commonly used antibiotics from bacteria and fungi are streptomycin, tetracycline and erythromycin. Alexander Fleming in 1929 discovered penicillin, the first antibiotic while working on a culture of disease causing bacteria. Nowadays, antibiotics are mixed with the feed of livestock and poultry to check microbial infections in animal. Vaccine. Vaccine is a biological preparation which have inactive or killed microbes. This helps to provide memory to the immune system of the body. Antibodies are formed and stored in the body so that next time if any microbe enters or same microbe enters the body, it will be eliminated quickly. Several disease like polio, smallpox, cholera, hepatitis, tuberculosis can be prevented by vaccination. Edward Jenner in 1798 first time discovered the vaccine for smallpox. Now coming to the farming sector, it also uses microorganisms for nitrogen fixation that in return increase soil fertility. Some bacteria and blue-green alga fix nitrogen and are called biological nitrogen fixtures. Production of manure is also what farmers do with the help of some microorganism. Dead and decaying organic matter is processed with the microorganism and they decompose and convert into manure. There are many harmful microorganisms as well on this planet. The harmful disease causing microorganisms are called pathogen and pathogen enter our body through air we breathe water we drink and food we eat. Some microbial disease also spread from an infected person to another healthy person through physical contact, sharing of food or belongings. 
and such disease is also called as communicable disease communicable disease though need carrier to spread the animal or insect which help to spread from disease to a healthy person are known as carriers house flies and mosquitoes are one such carrier house flies sit on the garbage and animal excreta and contaminate the uncovered food so it is advisable to cover the food Mosquito causes many diseases like dengue, malaria, chikungunya, yellow fever and zika. All mosquito breed in water. Hence we should not let water collect anywhere in cooler, tire or flower pot. Here's a list of some common human disease caused by microorganism. Tuberculosis is caused by bacteria, measles is caused by virus, chickenpox is caused by virus, polio is again caused by virus. Whereas cholera and typhoid are caused by bacteria, hepatitis B is caused by virus, malaria is caused by protozoa. To know more, pause the video and take a closer look or go to the page 24 in your NCRT textbook and open table number 2.1. Due to such a vast majority of microorganisms, some also causes diseases in animals and plants. For example, anthrax is a dangerous human and cattle disease caused by bacterium. Robert Koch was first to discover Bacillus anthracis in 1876, the bacteria which causes anthrax disease. Foot and mouth disease in the cattle is caused by virus. Several microorganisms which affect the plant are listed in the table below. Some of the most common plant disease caused by microorganisms are citrus canker caused by bacteria, rust of wheat caused by fungi, yellow vein mosaic of bhindi caused by virus. Now coming to the food preservation. Food preservation is a method to conserve the food for getting spoiled over time. You might have seen your grandmother or mother adding salt, sugar and oil to the food items meant to be kept for longer period of time. These are the preservatives added since ages to preserve the food. Here are some common methods to preserve the food that is by chemical method, heat or cold treatment and storage and packaging. Chemical methods include adding of preservatives like salt, sugar, vinegar and oil to check the microbial growth. Heat and cold treatment. It includes boiling of the milk to kill microorganisms. Similarly, low temperature of refrigerator inhibits the growth of microbes. Louis Pasteur discovered a similar method of pasteurization named after him. This method is highly used in the dairy industry nowadays. The milk is heated to 70 degrees Celsius for 20 seconds and then suddenly chilled and stored to a lower temperature. Storage and packaging include keeping food items in airtight sealed containers to prevent microbes. Nitrogen fixation. Rhizobium and some of the blue-green alga are useful microorganisms which fixes atmospheric nitrogen to the soil. They live in the root nodules of the leguminous plant like pulses, pea and beans. It is a great example of symbiotic relationship. Nitrogen cycle The atmosphere around Earth contains 78% of nitrogen gas. Protein, chlorophyll, nucleic acid and vitamins all include nitrogen. But atmospheric nitrogen cannot be used directly by the plants or animals. So certain bacteria and blue-green alga fixes atmospheric nitrogen into nitrogenous compound. Or lightning and thunder also fixes nitrogen into nitrogenous compound. These compounds are taken by the plant and utilized during the photosynthesis. Animal and human feed on the plant and plant products. Thus, they are transferred to the human or animal. When human or animal excrete, it again goes to the soil. And that is the nitrogen cycle. Thanks for watching this video. If you do like this video, give a thumbs up and subscribe to Slate and Pencil for more such video. Peace.